Hi, this is Anna Christina in Denver sharing tools of hope with the Resilience Builders. Today we're going to talk about the bizarre way that anger helps boost your resilience. Three different ways that anger helps boost your resilience. Here we go. We all know that, that anger can fuel, right? Anger typically is a um, stimulant. Let's just say that way, right? It's a stimulant. It gets you fired up. And so when you fuel that anger, it gets you fired up. In my experience, anger was a good thing at one point. And what happened is it helped me get out of a situation in which I was probably going to get killed at some point, right? Domestic violence. So it helped, it helped fuel that idea that I needed to get out. In that case, anger served its purpose. Bam! We put fuel toward it and then it, um, it, it launched me, right? It, it allowed me to launch and get out of that situation. Here's the problem is when we stew in the in the anger, it turns inward and it creates uh, it leaks, right? It leaks poison all over yourself, all over everybody around you. So number one, anger is uh, can be a fuel. And the question to ask yourself is, what is it fueling in my life? Is it fueling that launch, that launch power, right, that you get up and out of a situation? Or is it fueling that? that angst and that um, toxic stew inside of yourself that, that never does anything except for hurt you and hurt the people around you. So number one, anger can be like a fuel. Number two, one of the ways that anger can boost your resilience is, uh, and it, it feeds from number one, yes, it's a fuel, but you can use it to boost your resilience and here's how. Instead of just flying off the handle with the anger, what you can do is you can say, here's the deal. What are the facts here? What are the facts about what really is happening? Now, th that's different from the story, which is the second step. But you can ask, what are the facts? This is what happened. This is what happened. This is what happened. And I flew off the handle. That's the fact. Number two is the story. What's the story I told myself about those facts? So the story is that person's just a flaming jerk. That story is I'm a flaming weakling. I'm a flaming jerk. I'm no good as a mom. I'm no good as a friend. I'm no good as a husband. I'm no good as a wife, whatever, whatever, whatever the situation is, right? So here's how it fuels your resilience is because it, it can cause you, you can choose to use the anger to um, check into your awareness of what's going on. You can say, wait, 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 wait. What are the facts? And what's the story that I'm telling myself about those facts? It increases awareness, okay? You can allow your anger to fuel you into doing, to making changes, that's cool. Uh, and or you can allow your anger to help fuel your awareness. Number three um, is what's really bothering me, right? That's really the awareness feeds into number three, which is the learning. So the learning would be to ask a question and say, well, what's really, really bugging me? What's actually really bugging me? Uh, maybe I didn't get enough sleep last night. Maybe that person made a comment, an innocuous comment that they didn't even mean to be rude or snarky, but they said the words that somebody in my past used to say, and they used to say it in a sarcastic, mean, rude way. So you just got triggered, okay? When you start to use the awareness to be more aware of your trigger, it boosts your resilience, doesn't it? Because you're here watching this, listening to this, it means that you know how important it is to take care of yourself. So the next time that you feel that anger surge, it's that surge of anger, that unwarranted, inappropriate anger, the next time you feel that surge of anger come up in your body, you can do three things. Number one, you can allow it to help you propel as a fuel into the step that you know you need to take, okay? Not a rash step, but you can allow it to propel you and here's how you would go about it. You would take a step back, number two, right? Go to that number two. You would take a look at the facts, kind of cogitate on what the story is that you're telling yourself about those facts. Is that a limiting belief? Is it a lie? Um, is it something that you've just kind of believed in and you went off on that making an assumption? And then number three, you allow it to help you be more aware, help help you be more aware and to figure out what's really bothering me. Was it really that I'm angry or was it that I was feeling betrayed? I was feeling rejected. I was feeling sad. I was feeling hurt. I was feeling guilty, shame, blame. Anger can be a powerful tool.
It can be a powerful weapon, but not in the way that we've thought of it as. Allow the anger to fuel you in your resilience to become more of the person that you were built to be. This is Anna Christina sharing tools of hope with the resilience builders. As you get your life back, you continue to be able to speak healing and make a difference and be a light in the darkness. Click subscribe, click like, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Thank you.